Yo, yo, what's up, guys? This is Bram. We're going to be playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 today. Um, I already have a part going, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new game for us here. Um, it takes a second to load. Yeah, this game came out in 2004. Um, it, uh, it's the last Roller Coaster Tycoon to come out. They were talking about releasing Roller Coaster Tycoon World in 2018. And it was such a flop that they chose not to release it. Um, so once you load your screen, you're going to get to this little park area right here. Um, and so you either have the option to start building your park or simply just start building rides. Um, sometimes, you know, you want to build a park and actually put concession stands and stuff like that. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and make a, a ride for you guys. Um, so... This is the area that you kind of get to start out with. This is how every park starts out. You have your entrance and your little um, your little parkway. That guy right there actually is the, uh, he's supposed to be the inspector of the park and he he's the only constant player throughout this all. So we're going to pick this little area here to left. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the time actually. Because, um, you know, as you notice, those people stop moving. It just just makes me feel like I can breathe a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and pick this plot to the left. Um, we're going to go over to the left side. We're going to choose rides, roller coasters. Um, I'm going to toggle the wood, the overhanging, and the water um, just because it'll just get the seal ones. And I chose an extended coaster because it's definitely the most versatile and it has the most, uh, just has the most parts to, in it to build. So here we're going to start out um, raising the track to start it out. Uh, so we're going to build the station and then we're going to um, we're going to just get right into the roller coaster by making it drop down a little bit so it has some speed to start out. Um, now one thing about this game, uh, for its time it was definitely definitely a, a very advanced game. Um, and I think that's something that they really tried to capitalize on by, you know, this was the first roller coaster tycoon that was really 3D, you could turn the, you know, you could turn the world using the WASD, the Q and the E to go counterclockwise and clockwise. Um, and it was actually the first roller coaster tycoon game that brought in the av availability to ride your ride, which is really big. Um, so here I am just building the ride, toggling the height so you can see how big it is. Made about 120 feet, nothing crazy. Um, kind of a kind of a small ride but I wanted to make it go 90 degrees down at least um, and here I am just just gonna speed it up a little bit for you guys so you don't have to sit and just watch me build the whole thing um, so some some good things about this game um, is obviously you can customize piece by piece but that's also a annoying part because you can really only work in 90 degrees and 45 degrees um, they, they basically use a grid formation with the only exception being that 45 degrees as you can see right in that turn right there um, and so obviously for the time that was advanced but now with games like Planet Coaster coming out you're able to stretch your track and you're able to just make it so customizable that you can really make each ride your own and I've been playing this game since it came out and I've probably ran out of ever I, I've probably I've done every ride you can possibly do um, so I really think the single track add-on as you can tell with each track that I do um, kind of takes away from the game a little bit because it makes it less customizable unfortunately um, and you can see here I'm actually going to just delete some of this because I don't like the where it's going and I want to return back to the track um, but I think that really does detach from your your creativeness and your uh, ability to just make it your own because there's such a format that they use um, but some of the cool things like this feature right here is you can edit the terrain I made it you know sandy just to give it some some sort of character and I add a little lake here because you know I think that'd be kind of cool usually I would take a lot more time but for the purpose of the video I just thought I'd show those two key things you can also add trees sculptures statues stuff like that it's it's but it but those are also those are also based on the grid formation so it's not that customizable um, here I am just changing the color of the track per usual as I like to do um, makes it a little more 
enjoyable, a little more aesthetically pleasing. So here we are, we're actually just going to ride the ride. Um, and if I had to, if I had to change something in this game, like I said, I would make it so you could stretch out your pieces. So you can make them as long and as short as you want them to. Um, so you don't have to go with the format that they use. And here we are just riding the ride. Um, this is another very good aspect to, to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I think they, they got the, the physics and the camera work down very well. Um, you can see in this turn here, it's very smooth. There's no choppiness. Um, and, you know, you're going to go up. And the break, even the braking right there is very, very realistic. Um, you know, you go through the loops and it's it doesn't make you nauseous, at least for me. Um, so I thought this game, for what it was, was a very, very advanced game. Although they had some some things they could have gotten more right for the time, it was definitely ahead of its time. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Um, I want to thank you for listening and make sure to subscribe and click that like button. Alright, till next time.